Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Of course, my name is Kent. And I wanna talk a little, bit of, a little bit about why Americans don't wanna work anymore. I, I made a video the other night about people not wanting to work and I got like two kinds of responses. The first response was, you know, people just need to quit whining and get a job, stay with the job and, and make it work. And the other, other group of people were saying, hey, who wants to work for a bunch of greedy employers that don't appreciate their employees? So I want to talk about that a little bit because there are a lot of people that made comments on that video and responded. And the first thing I want to talk about is the definition of a job. So this idea of a job, it's been around since I was a kid and I'm 60, 64 years old this month. And what a job to me was when I was a kid was, hey, you go to school, you get a job. Once you get a job, that employer retains you and trains you and takes care of you provides a retirement, provides um, health care, provides uh, security for you and your family, and you give that employer pretty much your time, you know, all, all, all the years of your life you give to your employer, and then at the end of your employment, then the employer goes ahead and, and reciprocates by making sure you have a retirement, making sure you're taken care of when you get a little, little bit older and you can't work any longer. Well, that definition has just been totally blown out of the water and doesn't exist anymore. If anybody thinks they're going to go to school and get a job and have some employer take care of them for the rest of their life, they're, they're living in another, they're living in fantasy world. I mean, you know, they're living in the world of Santa Claus and the, and, and the Easter Bunny because that just doesn't exist anymore. So if you want to define a job, I'll try to define a job as well as I can. First of all, a job isn't being paid 100% commission. If you're getting a job and most of your income is coming from the commission, that's not a job. You know, if an employer says, hey, come make me money and if I, you make me money then I'll give you a little bit of that money back. That's not a job. That's something the employer is doing to make themselves money and to take advantage of you for as long as you, they can. You work for them and then when you get burned out and you can't make any, you know, when you're not making any commission then, then, uh, th then uh, you quit. You know, that's not a job and, and the only reason employers do that is because the employers are just using you for your time and efforts for their own, for their own benefit. So what they do is they make sure you make money before they make money. You make money, and then when they, you make money, they take a portion of the money you made, and then they give you a little bit of what's left over, and that's not a job. And that's never been a job, and that's not a job. And if you go out and you search jobs in the United States of America, you're gonna find out most of them are based on some, some commission plan, if not 100% commission. Most of the jobs I've had in my life are most, mostly commission. So I didn't make any money until I made the company money or made the business money, and then they gave me a little portion. If that's not a job. But that's a majority of the jobs in today's world is commission jobs. The second thing a job is, and is a job isn't, if you're working at a job and you're not getting any benefits, any retirement or anything like that, that's not a job. I mean, if a job, job basically it means that, hey, I'm gonna go to work for you and you're gonna make me meet you know, my basic needs that I have. You're gonna pay me enough money to where I'm gonna have a place to live, I'm gonna have transportation, I'm gonna be able to raise a family and take care of myself. And if that, that's what a job is. A job is not commission, but actually paying for an, uh, an employee and investing in an employee so an employee can make enough money so they can have a, 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 an existence. So they don't have to worry about living on the streets or living in some substandard uh, you know, housing because they, they're, they're, they're working for you. And that's the way a lot of fast food places work. And that's where a lot of these minimum wage places work. They don't invest in their employees at all. All they do is you, they use their employees and that's why they run through so many employees. And that's why it's really not a job. So this idea of a job, it has to meet a certain standard. And there's, that's why we Americans don't wanna work anymore because the definition of a job is not a job. Jobs aren't taking care of people. They're not taking an interest in, in the employee. You know, if you're an employer, the first thing you need to do is you need to take an interest in your employee. And the way you take an interest in your employee is investing in your employee till your employee be, is able to benefit you and you can actually reap a return or reap some sort of a monetary benefit from your employee working. And if that's not happening, then it's not a job. And that's the reason why nobody wants to work anymore in this country because we have made jobs into how much you can get out of someone before they decide they get tired and fed up and they don't want to work anymore. That's what jobs are in this country. Jobs are just how to you know maximize someone's time so you can utilize them until they get fed up and quit. 
And that's why people don't want to work at jobs anymore. And that's why our job situation is so dismal in this country. And it's unfortunate because the Federal Reserve is sitting here waiting for a jobs report to decide if they're going to cut interest rates or not. I mean, we're, we're basically, basically betting our, our, our financial system on whether they're going to, people are going to give, be given jobs or not. And let me tell you, I see so many YouTubers, people that have had really good jobs, and, and you can see them too. People that have jobs at Google, Facebook, Amazon, and they've given up their Facebook, Amazon, YouTube video, or uh, Google uh, job to make YouTube videos. And a lot of people are doing that. So even the best companies, the biggest companies, the most successful companies, the ones that are doing the best in the stock market, even those jobs aren't that great. So the idea of a job in this country doesn't really represent what it should represent. It's just, it's jobs aren't what they used to be. And the idea that we, you think just, hey, just strap it up and strap it on and do the best you can and hopefully it works out. You know, that's your life you're talking about. Every day of your life that goes by that you invest in somebody else's business is, 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 is a bit day you can't get back. You don't get those days back. They're gone and they're gone forever. One of the reasons I quit farming when I was 28, 29 years old was I realized every year I farmed and didn't make a living, I was wasting that year of my life. I couldn't get that year back. So when I got done at the end of the year and just barely cleared the bank, and then I had to uh, invest or go back, go to the bank next year and try and borrow another uh, operating loan, I couldn't get that year back that I lost. So eventually one year I just said, hey, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm not gonna keep investing these years, burning up my life. And I burned about 10 years of my life up on the farm. I wish I hadn't done because it was stupid because I never got a return for it. And I wasn't waiting for that one payday year. So what they do, what, the way a farm works is, Maybe one out of every 10 years, you really get a, you get a good year and you, you start to make some money. So, but those 10 years that you wasted waiting for that one good year, you don't get back. And that's the way it is when you work at these nowhere, endless jobs that aren't really jobs as defined by a job that takes care of you. You're just wasting your life working for people that don't, don't basically give a damn about you. And all they wanna do is they just wanna waste your life and use you up until you can't afford to work for them anymore and that's most of the, the jobs in this country that's why i'm in favor of the 20 dollars an hour minimum wage here in san diego or ca california i think that you need to pay somebody at least 20 bucks to live in california there are people around the country that are screaming saying hey you're going to wipe out the fast food industry there's not going to be any fast food anymore because nobody can afford to pay 20 dollars an hour for someone that works behind the counter well if that's the case then i think the fast food industry needs to go away and based on someone that's lost about 50 pounds by not eating that stuff anymore. I think it's a good thing that it goes away. I, I think that if you're, uh, and, and I've seen too many people, especially people who own McDonald's franchises and Subway franchises, they'll own 10 or 20 franchises, and they're the biggest ones complaining about the $20 minimum wage. I mean, here they own 20 franchises, 20 McDonald's franchises, 20 Subway fan franchises, but they're the first ones to complain about a $20 an hour minimum wage. Come on, man, you got 20 franchises. You're making lots and lots of money. It's time to give some of that money back to the people that built your business. Time to give that money back to the people that, that were behind the counter all those years and waiting on people and dealing with the customer and not just throw them to the, waste, the, you know, to the, to the, to the curbside because you, know, you want to complain about you know, this, this country that we live in, this, this country where you know, that we want to have a standard of living for everybody. The basic thing is we need to have a standard of living for everybody. If you can't, if you're working, if you make the effort to get out of bed and go to work at a job, your job should take care of you and it should take care of you to a point where you don't have to live, you know, some sort of um, menial life where you're not, not, you can't afford a job, you can't afford a house and you can't afford, uh, you know, a car and you can't afford a place to live. That's ridiculous. And the, one of the reasons why we're in this predicament is because of our money system. And that's why I keep talking about the, the Federal Reserve System. Because the Federal Reserve System has watered our money down to the point where, and then I'll, now I'll take the side of the employer. The employer can't really pay a lot of money out to the employees because if they do, they won't make any money because of the expenditures they put out. So, you know, when their overhead is high, you know, they're going to cut back too. I mean, you got the richest guy in the world, Elon Musk, and he's, a, he's, he's cutting his, his workforce. You know, here's the guy, you know, supposedly, I don't know if he is or not, but he's supposed to be one of the richest guys in the world and he's firing a bunch of people. Why is he doing that? Because he's not making money. So he's made, a, he's made a business decision and saying, hey, I can't make enough money to hire these people, keep them employed, and make it worth my while to do so. So he can't, he can't look out into the future, invest in a bunch of employees, keep them on the payroll, 
and, and see it so his business actually benefits by that. So he's, he's decided to terminate a bunch of people's employment. So I think that's why people don't want to work anymore. And that is the reason why this country, I mean, you want to talk about every possible thing that's going wrong in our country today. That is the major thing, is that basically people cannot see themselves clear to go to get a job and bear down and spend the next 20, 30 years of their life investing themselves in somebody else's business. It just isn't working. So what's the alternative? The alternative is to do what I'm doing right here. Do YouTube, uh, do some sort of social media, do something like that because going to work for somebody isn't gonna be a payday for you for the rest of your life. In fact, if you start to get to a point where you're making very good money, now you get, you're gonna be the first person to be let go because you're, you know, you're, 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 you're a target now because you're making the best, most money there. I mean, I'm sure the, the people that Elon Musk is firing aren't the people that are making the minimum wages. Those are the people that are probably middle management and upper management that have you know, invested some time in the company and they're the ones he's gonna let go because they're the ones that are making the good money, the bigger money. So, so in my opinion, this is ridiculous. And if they don't do something quickly, this whole thing is gonna collapse. And I'll tell you why it's gonna collapse because the consumer has to keep buying things. So if they don't continue to buy things, we can't have a balanced trade with other countries. So for instance, the way the system works is our country borrows money from the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve buys the treasury bills, the treasury notes that our country is, is, is basically giving the Federal Reserve for the, the money they print out of thin air. The other thing that's going on is countries like China are buying our federal debt, our, our debt. So Chinese are producing products, they're sending them over to this country, the consumer buys that product and then they use that money to buy our debt. Now, if we can't buy that product anymore so that China gets the money so they can buy our debt, the whole system collapses. So until the cons unless the consumer continues to buy the Chinese products that are coming into this country cheaply, you know, we're not going to be able to keep the whole system going. So eventually the Federal Reserve will have to bail out the consumer because if they don't bail out the consumer and the consumer can't continue to buy the products that are being shipped over here by other countries, and then those countries take that money and they use that money to buy our debt. If they can't do that any longer, the system just fails. So that's, what that's the predicament we're in. We're in the predicament where if we don't make it so jobs are worth their while, worth the while to work at, so you, don't wanna, you wanna get up in the morning and go to a place and go to work, if, if they don't make that happen, our, our national debt won't be purchased by the, uh, the countries that are making products for us to buy and then the whole system collapses. So that's the predicament we're in. And they need to make it so either the government comes in and makes it so, it it's makes, makes it so they, 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 they actually help the employer to make a livable wage for the employee, or we just simply won't have the consumer able to buy products that they need to buy in order to sustain the debt that we we make every day i mean the debt that we the trillions and i think it's 29 30 trillion dollars that we're in debt right now in this country so that those that trillions 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 of dollars of debt that this country owes won't be able to be serviced anymore because foreign debt foreign countries won't be buying our debt because we no longer buy their products so that's the way it ends so if you don't want to if you if this country is viable and it keeps going it's going to have to do something about the employment situation in this world because right now the employment situation in this world is broken and it's broken badly and unless they want to fix it we're going to be in a world of hurt here very quickly so all this doom and gloom that you're reading about on the internet is all going to come through and it's all going to be true how the thing's going to crash and that's just the way it's going to crash just the way i just explained it to you so anyway let me put turn this around so you can see um, that i'm not ai I'm actually a real person. I'm in San Diego, California. Actually, I'm in Carlsbad, California. I can get that camera to straighten out on me. And I'm on State Street. So anyway, another video tomorrow. Hopefully, we can have some more positive news. Better than news we have had tonight. Thanks very much. Appreciate you watching.